Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is GGF, bringing you episode six of Let's Try Karth, uh, early access alpha version by Deirdre, Deirdre Ray, Deirdre Rie, Deirdre Ray Studios. Hope you guys are doing well. We're going to check the graphics again, make sure everything's cool. We're going to get into this and uh, get that beautiful music turned up. All right. Let's see what goes on here. Solo survival. Let's roll. So yeah, I hope you guys ooh, are doing well. Gonna do some crafting today or tonight, wherever and whenever it may be where you're at. Maybe go hunting for animal hides, actually. We could use more of those. Love this opening theme. Oh, I had to click, didn't I? No? All right, we in, baby. Let's go. All right. So the tutorial still pops up. If we go to quests and then talents and back to quests, we have our quests. Um, we could turn in. Oh, no, we didn't get the third rabbit. We did the tin ore. These are all stuff we did. Okay. Um, cool. Let's look for a rabbit. Let's see if we can get that third rabbit. Zoom out a little bit, get a nice wide picture of this lovely game. All right. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Got to be a rabbit somewhere in here. Harvest. Yeah, we'll harvest the rock while we're here. And keep looking. Limestone and three stone. Very good. Oh, maybe we can even use our spell against the rabbit. Hmm. Lots of rocks to mine here. Up, oh, rabbit. I think it's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. It's on the run. Did I get it? No! Oh my gosh! Run! Run, 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 run! Someone's horse is here. Gotcha. Sorry, little guy. I'm on a quest. An epic quest. Nice. Okay, we have a horse. Uh, can we just take it? Well, I guess we can. Hello. Oh wow, there's like a castle and stuff over there. Oh my gosh. Let's go turn this quest in. Do a little galloping. Hope I'm not breaking the law. Nice jumping ability. Right up on homie like that. Can I help you? Uh, wish to speak to you about the task of killing those rabbits. Oh yes, you've killed three of them out already? Uh, yes, I've killed all three as you've asked. Oh, now let's get you paid then. He hands over 50 coins. 
As I said, just come back around sometime and I should have some more work available for you. Take the coins and leave. Thank you. 50 coins. Quest disappears. We get to loot a Gems of the Clinkle, which is the second time I found that book. Um, can I jump up there? Nice. Four coins and a short clan X. Tannin recipe. Two coins, cloth recipe. Oh, animal hide, sun. That's huge. Bronze ingot, that's huge too. Nothing up here. All right, so I'm gonna leave the horse behind for now. I'll leave him there anyway. Let's see. Hardened leather. Okay, well, we need to be by a tanning rack. Which I think this one would post it up down here with one. We can make some hardened leather, I think, or do I need to make oh what did I do? Um I yeah, we have to make tannin. Let's see if we can make tannin. I know we probably have to be by an alchemy table or something. No? Oh, we need a jug of water. Well, we have a bottle. Oh, loot. Another tanning rack. Oh, I can't take it. I have hit my limit. No, wait. Why did I drop some? What is going on? That was weird. That was very weird. But we're back. Okay. Um, there wasn't a well here. Did we ever see what this guy says anyway? Oh, he's got the teleporter in his house, right? I think the well was down here. I don't think we can fill a bottle yet, though. Maybe we can. All right. You need one empty stomach flask, one empty jug to start water collection. So I can't fill a bottle. I need an empty jug. I could probably buy Tannin. In town, I, I probably should stay on that horse when we're going to be running like this. Is that loot or is that... Yeah, it's loot. Kind of getting choppy mouse. I didn't see what that was. Choppy mouse for some reason. It's there we go. My mouse does that quite often. Pick up some more loot. Standing torch. A copper ingot. Harvest a little bit. To limestone. We harvest that? Oh, we can. Is this a tin deposit? Limestone and stone, okay. Oh, sun thread. Tin ingot. Wordage. Hmm, and nothing. Oh, you got a weapon behind you, girl. I can't pick it up. Hmm, there it is. Ornathian longsword. More loot in here. A horse stables. Rope recipe. Standing torch. Sable boy. Peep standing here. Let's see, you would probably have tannin, right, Edith? How can I help you? Maybe so. Oh yeah, you got plenty of tannin. Sells for okay, let's buy five of it. For ten. 
Corinthian light armor. That sounds promising. Peasant outfit. Armor of 12. Wow. Sells for 120. Corinthian. That sounds cool. So let's just grab one. Oh, jugs of water, too. So for okay, let's buy five of those. Oh, all right. Now, I guess if we go near a tanning rack, oh, healing potion thread. There's a workbench. Where's a tanning rack, though? Somewhere around here is one. I'm certain of it, kinda, maybe. My bench, my alchemy bench, cloth, thread recipe, leather belt, crude. Ooh, chest, lock 16. Pulling the clue. Let's go buy a lock pick. Something we haven't done. Um. Ring of armor. Oh, you don't have a lockpick? There you go. By price 18, we'll buy two of them. Three of them. Oh, that's like all my money, but it's okay. Not every day you find a chest here. DC 16, let's pick the lock. Failure. Oh, we rolled a 12. Uh, come on, I know I'm gonna lose here. Yep. Success! Oh my gosh, we rolled a 20. Bracers of Wisdom. A pair of bracers that grant the bear wisdom. Exquisite. Wisdom plus four. No kidding. How many lockpicks did we use? Oh, we still have some. One left. Boom, son. Let's put those on. The Bracers of Wisdom. I could probably sell them too for big money. Nice. Still need a necklace and two rings. Um. Just to the rabbits. All right, tanning rack. Back to the tanning rack. Who are you? There's gotta be a tanning rack around here. Did I just see one? No. Oh. Minor, he minor healing potion. Checking some peeps out. Tanning rack. I could just lay one down here and make the town have a tanning rack. Why not? Let's roll over by this alchemy bench. Alright. I was going to sell it. Doesn't seem to be here. Am I losing items between episodes? No, I sold it, but I thought I picked up another one. Hmm. Okay. Let's learn the Arantian recipe. An unsigned letter regarding the Clean Colt Dwarves and Gems. Dwarves of the Clean Colt have burrowed deep, deep enough to unearth rare gems which have never before been known to Carthians. These rare and precious crafts of the gods are said to hold more than just beauty and strength. As the schism unfolded, it is said some of the rarest of these ingots began to hum, glow, and resonate with power never known, 
even by the elves of old. These whispers could all be for naught, as I have yet to prove in truth. Huh, so did that, like, start a quest, maybe? No? Okay, something to look out for, though. Let's see, bone pile. Animal guts, animal hide, raw fatty meat. Raw lean meat. Huh. Here in his light armor. Well, that's armor plus six. That's been changed, huh? No, that's what I'm wearing. Okay. There's my old armor. Death Guardian padded armor. Okay, what do we want to do here? Go into crafting. Or buy a tanning rack. Did you have anything to say? No? So now can we bench right there? We could have. Man, Lillian Hughes. How may I assist you? Wish to learn more about these lands. Well then, let me tell you some tales, friend. Grab some wine or perhaps an entire barrel as I tell some of the greatest tales. These lands have been blessed to hear. I see. What would you like to learn more about, friend? How about the Great Schism of the Gods? The greatest battle ever known. The Schism of the Gods fell upon us all just around 75 years to this day. Such a catalyst of change. The way we count the days, the way we live our lives, the ability to perform magics and tricks, all of this came from the schism. Listen. The story behind the name, though, that is what you are after. Let us begin, then. For hundreds of years, the inhabitants of Karth lived in relative harmony. Karth was home to a multitude of different races, factions, and clans. Though conflicts would arise from time to time, trouble would soon dissolve into the usual balanced equilibrium so typical of the land. All of this meant little to the four god siblings residing over the realm. The youngest of the four, Terranath, saw the inhabitants of Karth as weaker beings. I see. At first, the dwellers of Karth, Karth were mere playthings. Slowly and subtly, these manipulations turned towards true evil and corruption of their souls, minds, and bodies. Ternath found the more souls he converted towards his ideals and worship, the stronger he became. As a result, the schism of the gods came to pass. Once Ternath's powers grew, there was nothing his siblings could do but try to reason and slow his corruption. Their words fell on deaf ears, and in one brilliant flash of cosmic light, he reduced his siblings to nothing more than shadows of their former selves. With no one left to oppose him, Terranath was consumed by the very evil he once wielded. Um, kind of hard to see here. It's hard to imagine. A darkness fell of a cart that had never been seen before. Portals to other realms opened by Terranath flooded the land with dark shadows and terrors. Tribes of orcs invaded further south from the Klinkolt. Unholy beings walked through the rifts and peace was but a distant echo of the past. Man, I could only imagine what it was like. Aye, shall we speak of something else? Would like to learn about life around here. For me, life has been rather boring, to be honest. No offense to the great city of Viernes, it is quite amazing, honestly, but I long for distant shores, exploring, not a stable income and trade. That really is what the place has been fo focused on for many years. I can understand that. In comparison to the rest of Karth, it is so much safer than the mainland. Once you cross those shores, the true realization of the schism will be seen. Trust me, I know. You've seen such evils. Seen it, lived it, escaped it. Trust in this adventurer. One can do a lot worse than living outside a great trade city, especially these days. Agreed. Aye, shall we speak of something else? Uh, can you tell me about the city Viernes? Ah, Viernes, built over the years upon riches, guilds, and expert trading practices. Viernes is truly something to behold. With such a powerful port, Viernes, in turn, brings all walks of life to its shores. Interesting. The Viernes Guard is known for turning a blind eye to what could be considered shadier practices around the port. Even still, they are respected on the battlefield. Many a merchant, craftsman, haggler, or trader has called Viernes home over the years. Viernes Guard, huh? With such glittering wealth also comes the dark underbelly of society found in the dark side streets of Viernes and her port. 
Some really dark characters from time to time have risen and fallen, as is usually the fate for those who reach too far too fast or try to cheat others for too long. Keep a keen eye around these parts, as there are many whom would rather cut you down than give you a second look, friend. That is all good to know. Aye. Um, I think that is enough. I did want to ask you, though. Uh, do you have any work? They think a moment. I could use some more birch bark. If you can return with ten pieces of birch bark, I will pay you for them more than you would get elsewhere. I shall return. Great, you should be able to acquire them through harvesting. Oh, another one of those cut-off sentences. But I know where to harvest it, so... Birch bark. Is this birch bark? I think so. Harvest the big birch trees. I got gotcha. you. There we go. One birch bark, birch sap. Boom. We'll turn this into logs as well. There we go. Hmm. Bunch of birch trees in the area. Two birch bark, large sticks. Maybe I'll just... I could just go after the birch bark, but... I'd be wasting a lot of tree. There we go. Can I get birch bark from these mini ones? Oh, my mouse is acting up again. There we go. My bad, I wasn't close enough. Yeah, they take birch bark. Easy way for birch bark. Ooh, two birch bark. I like the word birch bark. The words. Let's come in here. Man, my mouse giving me all kind of problems. Can loot that pot. A little cooking pot. Nasty. Let me try something. My bad, guys. There we go. That should fix that a little bit. Oh, snap! Are you a wolf? Well, I took it down one shot. Was that a dog? Or a wolf? Looked like it was attacking me. I want to harvest you. Can I harvest you? Said harvest for a minute there, but I guess. I guess not. Did I just kill that guy's dog? I feel really bad about that, dude. Alright, let's try that. Okay. Doesn't really say, but I think it was a wolf. I don't know. It kept coming toward me, but. I didn't see my health go down at all. Let's check the old inventory for birch bark. Birch bark 19, wow. Whee! Let's return to Liliana and give her the balk. God is here, all is well. Ah, God is here, all is well, yes. I agree. 
I've completed your task. Ah, do you have all ten, Birch Bark? Yes. Thank you kindly, and here's your coin. Thank you. I don't know what kind of coin I got, but that's cool. Let's see. We've got 53. Good amount of coin. Um. Now, we can make new armor, I think. Go to clothing. There's the ante in. Six cloth, six thread. Oh, we could make this already. We have to be at a forge. Okay, let's go to a forge. It looks pretty simple to make, so I don't know if it's going to offer that much protection, but it's fun playing dress up. Let's craft it up, son. Four thread, four cloth, two leather strips. Corinthian. Alright, very nice. I forget we have to do it this way. Corinthian armor plus five. Crude. Oh. Cool. I dig it. Nice look. Let's see, what else can we craft? Weapons. I crafted a worn weapon already. Um, food. We haven't needed food because of the bug of resetting the food and the drink. I may have to report. You know what? Let me report that it's still active in this build. All right, we are back. 27 minutes has passed. How? That is insane. Time flies playing this game. We'll easily rack up 300 hours with this in time. Where'd my, uh... Where'd my, uh... My, um... Crosshair go? Let's try that again. Um... Crosshair has disappeared. Wooden fence... And that's probably going to be a problem. Um, oh, did we get that? Can I get that? Edith Foster. Got the chest. Roland McHugh, he wanted me, Roland McClue wanted me to join the order. I think I might. What do you need? Let me ask you some questions. Speak freely. I would like to join the Netherian Guard. A first recruit, I see. Well, then, that can be arranged. He takes a quill and parchment and begins to write down your information. Well, now that the papers are in order, when you are ready to begin your initial trainings, report back to me and we can move forward. I'm ready now. Show some respect to the captain of the guard. I'm prepared for duty, sir. Right, now we must get you outfitted to better serve, Nethrian. He rummages through old weaponry and armors. These here should suffice. Hands over a bundle of random gear. Take the gear. Now you're better suited to protect yourself and to serve Nethrian. He whispers. Sorry, but our stocks are quite low. Hopefully soon you can get some better gear. He straightens back up. Now, for your first assignment, I have something even a darn fool could handle. I'm ready, sir. There has been a report of a robbery from one of our locals. I need you to go speak with Miss Viola Thorne and investigate what you can. You can find her to the east of here in a small gathering of dwellings. I'm ready. Return to me with your findings and do not let us down, recruit. Nice. A robbery quest. He gave me what? Well, let's see. He gave me, oh man, I have no way. Well, down here, 
Northumbrian Lamellor. Medium armor. I really wouldn't know what else it gave me. Because I do have a lot to sell. I guess that's it. I guess that's all it gave me. Was that. Oh, and a weapon, maybe? Maybe a Vayner and his longsword or something, I don't know. But okay, let's see, do we... Okay. Viola Thorn. To the east, right here. That's Gooslack. Could you spare a coin, friend? <laughs> Um, can you answer some questions for me first? I shall try. Any rumors from around the area? Oh, I have heard a few things, yes. Of recent, there was word of orcs raiding close by. Also, bandits have been causing a mess of the trade coming and going. Which I say, good on them. Damn mm -hmm. those merchants. Maybe a would. <laughs> well, thank you for that, I guess. Could you spare a coin, friend? One more thing. I shall... Don't suppose you know of any work, do you? Work? Oh, yes. <laughs> I have so much work. I can barely keep up. <laughs> Perhaps you could go clear out the basement of rats I keep below the hill over there. Rescue a lost child in a nearby cave. No, better yet, find my lost wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> so no work then. He stares. Here's your coin then, toss him in a coin. Jesus three, bless ya. The three. Huh. Everyone but Terranath. Basically. Lock of 16. I'm going to hold out for a lock of 12. Which I feel we have a better chance of getting done. So to the east. Hmm. Okay, it would be marked on the map, wouldn't it? Uh huh, okay. Very good. Well, that's going to be a real adventure. With the town guard. Oh. Can't loot anything because my... My crosshair is toast. I think we should still be able to loot. We can still... Yeah. That was just a non-lootable item. Alright, we're going east, baby. And then, in the meantime, we can maybe, um... Craft some more. Loot some more. Wow, this road is huge if those are there, I'm here, and they don't even show up on the map yet. That is crazy. So we have not even gone anywhere yet. There's a chest right there. Lock of 16. I'd have to roll a 12 or better. One empty stomach. There's Rep. He, he has the Hunter's Guild or whatnot.
Wow, look at these skies, bro. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should go pick up our horse. Oh, there's a small animal. Small animal! Oh, two bats. Oh, snap, they're coming. Ah! Oh, snap, son. Got something for use. Alright. Guess we can't harvest them? Or do I have to put my sword away? Shield. Huh. Can't harvest the bats or anything. Okay. Just want to check. Speaking of which, I got a fly in my face here. Alright, let's keep going east, I guess. Oh yeah, they're down there. Wow. This world is enormous. I love it. Should we go pick up a horse? I do want to gather and stuff while I'm at it, but I'm not. I saw that bat. Their horse here. Further down. Let like the loot circuit behind this house once more. Ah. Oh, I had it. Nope. There's a horse. Nothing. Copper ingot. Oh. Oh wow. Six coins, cloth with this beat. Four animal hides, son. I think I didn't give up on that. I know there's stuff down here too, but alright. Let's grab on horsey here. Whoop. Trot on down to meet Viola. Ah. Getting a little choppy performance, not sure why. Oh, this is awesome. You can just boom. Dash. Catherine Catherine Village. Hello? Here to loot your stuff. Oh! You are a wolf, right? Yeah, you're a wolf. Nice. Let me lose iron ore. Beautiful. Oh, bright, bright, bright lamellar. Cool. Sellable. Oh, makeshift tent. What? Put together with sticks, twine, and a few animal hides. It helps with the cold to get some better sleep. Wow, giving me all the goodies. Amethyst. Ah. Cordage. Another makeshift tent? They're just makeshifts, so. What else was back there? Loot something. Huh. Tin ingot. Hmm. Not sure why I have two. 
Exclamation points. Gather information about the robbery. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Healing potion. Leather belt crew. Arrow recipe. Getting these stacks on all this loot. Bronze ingot. Any of these boxes? Heck yeah. Sue. You must be Viola. Who are you? No one. Viola Thorn. Hello there. Um, may I ask you some questions? She shuffles her feet. What would you ask of me? Who are you? Me? She smiles a moment. I'm Viola. Viola Thorn. Tell me more about yourself. What is it you would ask? Um... What is it you do for work? Whatever I can, mainly. Have small farm, weave, and do odd work for others around the area. Okay, uh, can you tell me about this village here? I mean, is this a village, actually? Well, I would say it is, but really, I guess not. Locals call our place here Canthron, but it is not as if we have much going on. Besides just a few homesteads and farms. History, try to remember what you know of Catherine. Only dice... Ooh, success. Roll to 17. You remember hearing of this town in your past? A blade of the wood warrior came and settled the small village. He was apparently an incredible warrior in the arts and teachings. He learned in Warnath. Cool. I've heard stories of a great warrior that settled Cathra on a blade of the wood. She smiles. That was my forefather, Huin. Huin, eh? My family did not do much beyond that better at persuasion. I heard he was a great warrior. What can you tell me of him? Rolling dice. Success. I had never met him, but I've heard many stories from my father. He told tales of him defending the forest from the Thaian elves. He always held a sharp tongue towards the elves, as they seemed the blade's enemy most of the time, most of his time there. Seemed seen the blade's as enemies most of his time there. However, he was a very kind man and wanted a simple life, similar to what he learned as a blade, just not without the battles, and to try and raise a family. Hmm. Cool. Have you heard any rumors as of late? Okay, that leads to nothing, but wait. Where's my option? To question her. Here we go. I'm part of the Nethrian Guard. I was sent to speak with you about some trouble you've been having. About time someone showed up. Can you tell me what happened? Pretty easy to understand. I went into Viernes and upon my return, I noticed things were missing around the homestead. A few random items is all, but still, taken. What items, items were taken? Some cases of wine, grain, a few coins, an axe. Anything else? Taken, no. I believe that is all. Hmm... Do you know of anyone who may want to steal from you? No one stands out at all. What would you like to see the guard do about this? Maybe you can tell that captain to get off his arse and come investigate himself instead of sending someone else. No offense. Is there anything you're not telling me? What do you mean? I told you all I know. Maybe I don't have the proper investigation for that. Uh, I have enough information, I guess. Alright, I guess we're done then. I can still, like, seduce her with persuasion, but... Maybe try that next time. Here's an anvil. We can craft up a greatsword, see how that works. Hello. Work in the fields. Oh man, another episode comes to a close, and I'm loving my time here with Karth. Hope you guys are too, and thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. You make love and fun, <laughs> uh, and I hope you join me again. But. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please consider hitting the like button, give me a thumbs up. Not only does it show that you care, but it also 
really helps this video, this series, and my channel as a whole. Really good for the algorithm and all that, so please consider that. You can also leave a comment, let me know what you think. I read and respond to all of them in time. <laughs> I might be a little late sometimes, but I do read them at all and respond. Or you can subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification bell, and only do any of those things if you really want to, guys. Um, for some reason, no, the loot is not working too well, but um, yeah, no pressure or anything. It's all good, whatever you choose to click or not click. That said, guys, I hope you'll join me next time. Much more fun to be had. I do want to play more. Of course, even though it's early access yet, I usually wait for the official release. We're having some fun and we'll continue to do so. Next time we'll work on this quest uh, by going to the next exclamation point, gathering more info and going from there. So until then, guys, I hope to see you then. Be well, live well, stay well, and much love, peace, and joy. Catch y'all in the next vid. Uh-oh, is it going to quit properly? Yes. Peace out.